Yeah, just a confirmation of that India team there now. Down the pitch again and tucked away. Time nicely. This could be another three if Rohit wants to come back. He does. He's good on the pull. He's really good on the pull. Don't bowl short to this lad. First boundary of the final. Short, cut away, and that will be another boundary. One for Gill, and one for Sharma. I love the positivity. New Zealand have not been on the mark. They've missed their line, their length, on too many occasions this morning, but... Down the pitch from Rohit. It's better. I mean, you, you could say it, DK, you, your gloves are always in the right line. You know, bowl at me. Oh, that's a good ball. That swung from leg stump. A little bit of luck for Rohit Sharma. But as I said earlier, you need it in these conditions. Oh, Rohit comes back. Left-handed throw down. Again, just down the pitch nicely. And there's his timing. Even with the slow outfield, he'll pick up a couple. Maybe three. Yep, he's coming back for three, Gil. Positive running by these two. Yeah. Just the way they approach. Inside edge to end the over. Eight overs gone, 29 for none. Wide on the crease from Salvi. This time, it's four. Nice shot. Again, what we talked about. Just a touch too full in length. Good stop. It's been interesting, hasn't it? Excellent, there's something there, maybe so. Once you keep the seam in a decent position in these conditions, there's something but Ray Bowles and Saudi haven't really found their way to get back to. Good example there of being too full when India have hurt them. Every time they've missed, the Indian batsmen have shown good intent. Thanks very much, Craig. I think that was the in swinger from Jameson. And, and, and he's played it so well, didn't he? But for Roy Sharma, the way that he scored. Much better from Jameson drawing Gill forward. movement there but bounce as well taking the ball over the top of middle and off it's the advantage that Jameson has being six foot eight very strong player off the short ball is Shubman Gill who's so quickly onto that from Kyle Jameson pulling it way way in front of square well, whether it Beautiful delivery. He's uh, no great pace to ground on, but he'll find movement. And in this opening game, that should be punished, and it is punished. It was short, it was wide, it has been clattered to the fence. Oh, this is so good. This against them. They were brilliant against England, but not so, so far. 49 for none from 16. To New Zealand's side. And in swinger again from Jameson. He does mix it up. He's not a bowler who likes to pluck. Oh. Well, I, I mentioned that both batsmen are looking to bat out of their crease. Not just that, but Shubman Gill is occasionally coming down the pitch to Kyle Jameson. And that was the response from the bowler. 
deep bounce, wasn't it? But the closer you get to the bowler, the less time. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous shot from Rohit Sharma. What a way to bring up India's 50. The crunching sound off the bat from Rohit Sharma. We're so used to hearing it. Quick to latch on. Just like that. Just sliding down, perhaps. Michael, you can stay with your original decision. You're on camera now. Well, Michael Goff is a fine umpire. And it obviously... It's very good through there, Shubman Gill. We saw him play an on-drive earlier in the day. Just a, a push, but a very controlled push. But it's another gorgeous back foot shot from Rohit Sharma. He's a beautiful player through that area. A couple of times now to Grand Hom. This time, Kyle Jameson, full of length and a bit of late movement. And it's Rohit Sharma snapped up at third slip. How New Zealand needed that wicket. Oh, it's the breakthrough. New Zealand have been searching for. I don't think Rohit Sharma's done. The old style of batting, a quick single. Well run. And Pujar, a great outing last time he was here at the Hampshire Bowl, 130. Edged and gone, BJ Watling in his last test, picks up his first catch, Wagner into the attack, and he strikes in his first over. The importance of length, isn't it? He swung the first one back in, the second one on the same line, on the same length. This ball just that we just saw is actually one of Pujara's nemesis. Off the mark with a gorgeous cover drive to the boundary for four. Nicely turned into the gap on the leg side this time. Just the one. Blows. The one that uh, Shubman Gill got this morning would have, well, would have made a serious mess of his features without the helmet and the grill, and that one as well. Interesting. We we're just talking about the method of playing it. I'm surprised that Pujara is taking it on. So, Virat Kohli again, and Rohit Sharma and Pujara just on the drive here in England. They play right under their eyes. Ex nearly has a swipe at that one he's bowled a few in that area Wagner both to Kohli and Pajara I think Kohli's doing the interesting role Pajara has in this test match he occupies the crease he sets it up for that lower order slightly different in England when you're in Australia against Kookaburra ball that role set it up thinks there's bats but Kohli's not sure well, there's a batsman he should know but he's he taking the advice from a skipper. Trent Bolt. What an inspired bowling change. Chichesua Pajara is gone. Classic left arm as dismissal. Swinging it back in. Was Pajara right not to review? Could be high. Could be a bail trimmer. Maybe that's why Pajara wanted to review. Was it going over? But that is classic from Trent Bolt. Well, I just want to start that a little bit straighter now. Well, Rohani at the start of the... Oh, I'm not so sure. Uh, Jinka, you were gone. Throw was wide, wide, though. Williamson was off balance. He tried to release it quickly. It's bounce. 
And don't leave him, Jameson. Keep testing top of off. Exactly the same yep. line as he was playing to Neil Wagner. Nicely punched off the back foot for a couple. 100 comes up for India. Three wickets down. And nicely played. Waiting for it. Pushing for three again. Will they come back? Yeah, they will. A little misfield. A little fumble. New Zealand haven't been at their best with their ground fielding. What a beautiful shot. Ball full. Allowing the ball to swing back in. But Rohane, so good. Just the two this time. But again. Talk about partnerships, guys. These two are... Inside edge. Inside edge on that. I don't think New Zealand will be looking to go upstairs. Off that now. If you look at that particular stroke, even though he's scoring quite slowly, probably less so than he's used to, his intent has never. And you just wait and you be patient and the delivery will come along and you can move into double figures as Rahani's done. Well, this is something similar to what uh, Rohit Sharma did uh, to Colin de Grandom. A little short outside the off stump, quick to seize on. Same with the snowball of the game, and just short of gully. That's the variation of Wagner, swung it back in, and then again a little tempter, but it doesn't swing. Surface around is very green, outfield's lush. Far we've seen that, and when there's not a lot of cricket being played, him and at Lords, they were still swinging. So I don't know whether it's something... Already had. No. Because in an appeal of uh, that nature, what happens is uh, they've got a man in a point this time for Virat Kohli when they. Good single because uh, I was wondering whether does go for the short ball to Rahani. Falls well short. Bro. Very pleasant. The only chasing will be to retrieve it. Even Virat Kohli punches bat into gloves in excitement. 122, 129 for I'll play it guided. Could be three. Should be three. Yes, it's an easy three. In fact, Rahane was looking to come for the fourth. <laughs> A new term into cricketing lexicon. That is not a replay, folks, I promise you. That is... Fascinating over. swing type delivery where he's not trying to bowl an in swinger he's just trying to make sure it doesn't swing away that it's almost like change of bowling you know when you've got to really be watching